It's today's Variety 101.9 The Mix. It's McCabe and Jenny from the Afternoon Mix. And today, very excited, joining us from Los Angeles. He may have just got done surfing. Dean Lewis. What's up, man? How are you? How you going? Thanks for having me, guys. Really appreciate it. We are so glad you are taking the time to join us today. How is Los Angeles? I know that's not home for you, unless it's like a permanent home now. No, no, I'm just here. Like, I just basically come here for like a couple of weeks when I have them off just for recording because there's so many studios around and stuff like that. But um, it's sunny. It's life's great right now. Just kind of preparing for the, for all the tours coming up. I'm very excited. We're excited to get to the uh, tour news as well. But kind of going back to your second album, I mean, was the majority of this album really about one girl? Yeah, like there was this girl that I thought I was going to end up with. I thought she was like, um, you know, the one or whatever. And I just, I wrote a lot of songs over that period because it was during COVID and I had a lot of time off. So I wrote a lot of songs about her. It didn't work out. Um, and then obviously the song about my dad, which was kind of the outlier, um, which surprised and unsurprisingly was the one that people connected with the most. But yeah, about one girl, mostly, sadly. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that song. How do I say goodbye? I know it is about your dad, a very emotional ballad. How did that song yeah. come to be? Well, yeah, my dad was really sick at the time. And I just, I write about things that are happening in my life. And so it was only a matter of time before that was going to come out. I just was waiting for the right time. My dad ended up getting a stem cell transplant after I wrote the song and gave him like a new Im immune system. And he was like, one in a million chance though and he actually was like he got that lucky and he's actually in remission now so i wrote the song about how do i say goodbye to my dad but the great thing about it was that i never actually had to and i was able to like show him the song and you know he's been coming on stage at some shows and playing with me live it's just been like you know if you, three years ago would never have expected that to happen because he was so it was so bad you know what i mean yeah, I mean, seeing that song and and the personal story behind it, but like you said, it has so many you know different meanings that you can kind of take from the song. How have fans been reacting to such an emotional song for you? Oh, it's incredible! Like, uh, like I had a song "Be Alright" where people um just four years ago people told me, you know, that oh they, I got cheated on. I saw a message on the phone, and they tell you that straight away without knowing you. And I've never had that since until "How Do I Say Goodbye," where people just come up and they'll just tell you their stories, almost like they know you. Um, and that's when I knew it was connecting because straight away, like on YouTube and stuff, like people were writing about their family members or their friends who passed away and they just were so open about it. So it's incredible. My shows, you know, people are crying in the, the, the first like five rows, you know what I mean? Um, but it's not like a sad experience. It feels like everyone's like processing and it's like a uplifting thing. Um, and after the shows, people tell me all the stories and it's really incredible. Um, it's an incredible to be for them to people to let you in and, and to tell you about things they're going through. And, and, and this is the most, it's not a breakup. It's the most personal thing that we all go through. So um, it's been very special. So you told us about how the fans have been reacting to the song. What was your dad's yeah. initial reaction when you told him you wrote a song about him? Oh, okay. So I was, I was actually uh, overseas when that happened and my brother was at home. So I told him to film it because I wanted to see dad's reaction. And it's so weird how this happened, but like, my brother filmed him listening to it and my dad got really emotional and we posted it online because we're like, because dad was all good. Like we were like, this is my dad's reaction to hearing the song. And uh, he loved it. And then that video went viral and then the song blew up in the top 200, like global songs. So <laughs> dad's, dad, uh, yeah, it's, it's his genuine reaction, like changed the trajectory of the song. And, uh, and yeah, it was very special for us all. Like it's just been, unbelievable that this happened especially because every every song i was releasing was doing worse and worse and i was like is it all over you know what i mean and then this song like yeah my dad's like he's at home every day sending me the numbers and the radio stations and he's checking us on the hot ac charts and he's looking at the sp streams on spotify and it's like it's just so surreal he's really enjoyed he's actually loving the attention a little bit too much now i think which is cool i was gonna say i mean is has your dad joined like the promo team it sounds like he's putting it <laughs> <laughs> he kind of accidentally did like he just that video that we posted we didn't we, we just expected like we're just gonna post this it's a genuine reaction and it just people seem to love like genuine emotions and uh you know especially on tiktok and on social media and stuff so he's he comes to the shows and people like come up and get photos with him now and it's like it's it's pretty incredible to be honest 
And speaking of shows, you're bringing your, you just announced your U.S. tour and you're bringing your yes. tour to the Vic here in Chicago, Tuesday, September 19th, and tickets are on sale. Now, have you performed yeah. in Chicago before? I have. Um, yeah, I've performed in Chicago a couple of times. Um, I did scubas. I remember like my first show like four years ago or something like that, which was incredible. And the tickets are on sale now. And like, you know, I'm excited to come back to America now. Because the last time I was here, I think it was a year and a half ago or something, just after COVID, I came to America to do a tour. And for the first time, it was like everything was like, we were like, is this even going to sell out? Because I didn't have any heat. Now I've got a new song. It's blown up. I'm really excited for people to like, I, I'm just, I think we're going to sell it all out. I'm, I really hope we will. And it's feeling really exciting. And I love Chicago. Um, the main thing I think of Chicago is everyone always talks. Well, I, just, they always, I always go to buy a radio stations near the Bean. You know what I mean? Which I know is a yeah. controversial sort of thing. Um, but love Chicago. It's always very freezing. It's very cold. And also, is Pe Peoria, is that in Illinois? Yeah. Yeah, I spent um, I spent like three months in Pe Peoria when I was like 18 on like a job transfer. So I just remember it's just so cold. I don't know how you guys deal with the cold, but I'm very excited to come back. <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's, it's next level. I don't know how you do it. It's much different <laughs> from Malibu. I can tell you that. Oh, oh man. I 100%. 100%. And what are you looking forward to when you get on the road? And then what can fans expect from this tour? Yeah, so it's me and my band. And um, it's just like, you know, I guess what's really exciting is to be able to play a bunch of the old songs that they all know. And then some of the new songs, like How Do I Say Goodbye? Um, and then I'm going to have some other new music I'll have out. So there'll be even songs that like um, that people haven't heard that I'll be playing. Because, man, you know, the, the world's changed now with releases. And I'm trying to speed up releasing. I've got so many songs and we take so long to put them out. But I'll be playing a lot of new songs and um, a lot of like the old ones that they, they love. So it's going to be great. We, again, we want to thank you for taking the time. I was just curious when you are on tour, are you still gaming? And, is, and in what game oh. are you playing? Yeah, man, we're trying to get gaming laptops to play Warzone, Warzone 2. I love it, me and my brother. So my brother comes on the road with me and we just, like, we just, we love it. We love it. But we never have gaming laptops. So um, I'm usually watching streams, but we're going to try to organize some gaming laptops on this tour. Because um, I just love it, man. It's good just to get out of your head and play some Warzone, you know what I mean? <laughs> well dean we're looking forward to seeing you here in chicago tuesday september 19th at the vic and tickets again are on sale now thank you so much for taking the time thanks for having us guys appreciate it